everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell's Probe King. Probe King, King of the Probes. Well, we had a pretty successful mission last time. I mean, pretty successful. The Vindicator went down, it's a rebuild. we got to figure out what we're going to do with it. We lost a lot of stuff off that. Um, I don't know how much, like, I think we lost a bunch of the MRMs. Like, uh, it's, it's a rebuild, so we'll have to see what we can get out of it. Um... So, yeah, and we, we, we picked up a couple of things. The Enhanced Zoom we picked up. Um, let's go to the Mech Bay real quick. I already know what mission we're going to do, but the Mech Bay, uh, the Vulture's back, so we're ready to use that in this lands here. Now I'm going to take a quick look at it here just to show you what we got. Um, I did add the Enhanced Zoom into this mech because it didn't have one before. Um, and the, the lands that we're going to be with, it's got enough AMS. I, I had a, I had a uh, what's it called, an AMS on here. Uh, but I took that off with the advanced zoom on. I figure it's going to need rockets probably, but we got a pair of rotary fives and a pair of ER medium lasers. Heat sinking is pretty good. Um, it, it's actually, like, with the ER mediums don't fire, then I can fire both of these at full. We've got enough ammo to last a fair bit. Uh, we've got a little bit of caseless ammo. Um, just so that we have extra rounds in there, but we've got AP and regular rack five ammo, so we can go for longer fights. Um advanced uh, fire control system minus 20% uh, multiplier to jam chance which is great uh, tracker sensors obviously because we're going to be staying at range we're not closing with the enemy with this thing we got fire control the uh, ballistic fire control which gives us plus one to hit uh, we got recoil which drops our recoil by one which is good jam minus 25% jam chance so we should be able to wind these things up with a minus 45% jam chance and just wind them up the recoil is going to start to be pretty heavy if we're firing them like both at like the same time and and um, winding them up, but uh, I'm hoping this works out well. I'm gonna have to match it with the right pilot, but once it's matched with the right pilot, uh, it should be good. Now the armor's not full; it's down a little bit. I didn't want to shave too much off of the back, um, so I took a little bit off the CT, a little bit off the legs. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, it could be better, I think, but right now it's. It's, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it's, maybe we only go down to one rotary and we put something else in here. Um, because this is 10 tons, so we can get something else in there. But I just figured we try the two rotaries to see what happens. Originally when I built this, I, I didn't have the two ER mediums in there. I can't remember. I had something else. But then I'm like, ah, if the rotaries jam and stuff, you're going to want to be able to shoot something. So we got the rotaries in there. Plus the bolt-on rockets just as a backup. It's just like, you know, an extra little bit. Uh, we don't really have any good cockpits, but since this has already got a clan cockpit in it, it's plus one gunnery, so hopefully it pushes the pilot up a little higher uh, to re reduce the jam chance even more. So I'm hoping this works out well. We'll see how it goes. I noticed that this thing doesn't have a chin mount anymore. So um, it used to have like a chin mount, which gave you plus two to hit, but it doesn't seem like it does, so no big deal. Okay, let's... Uh, do a mix and match lance today. We're going to go to uh, the command center. We could take the avatar in this mission, but I think it's a little too heavy for what I want to do. I want to kind of ha have it a little bit fair, but we're going to take this job for the pirates here. And we're going to go against the Marians, blackout mission in the lowlands. Um, it should be a good fight, I think. And uh, we'll go this route, so let's negotiate. And we want to go full salvage, of course. Hopefully we can make our money back from the amount of repairs we had the last time. I haven't sold anything yet. I'm planning on doing that, but I'll do that later. Just I want to see how much we can get off of this one. So let's strip everything. Now it's the load, clear, apply. Let's strip everybody out of here. It's just going to be easier for me to do it this way. So let's bring the vulture down as command. Uh, Stormcrow is going to go here. The We're going to bring the trebuchet today and the bushwhacker. Um, I think the Efreets are probably going to be a little overkill. Mm, you know what? Let's make it a good mission today. Let's let's get stuff. Let's get stuff. All right, we'll put you here for now because that's your mech. And let's go with... We need somebody who can handle the recoil. Uh, I'm going to have to redo my lances too because I think we're going to have to um, really start putting pilots where they belong and making sure they stick to those mechs because the mechs with some of the pilots have been changing over time. So they're not all in... Yeah, we can run Moxie on the... Yeah, because you're technically... This is technically supposed to be a sea lance drop but 
we're going to go with the B Lance pilots on these ones because technically these guys are B Lance pilots. And then C Lance C2 is lifeboat. You got some Stormcrow experience. Got a Bushwhacker Kodiak is got some Bushwhacker experience as well. Red Flag is new. So let's go with you on the Stormcrow. Let's go with you on the Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker's a little more forgiving, I think. This has got a lot more pinpoint. This is a lot of splash, so we'll go that route, I think. Yeah, because this is one bar of stability damage removal. We, yeah. That's fine. Let's just go. Alright, this is the Marians. Let's get some quick sell. Let's hope we get quick sell. Right, where are we? We're way right back here. where we were last time, right? Yep. Oh, it's bright the daytime. Look at this. Beautiful. Let's get this vulture moving. Oh, you didn't drop me in a... Oh, yeah, you did. I was going to say you didn't drop me in an area where I can move, but apparently you did. Mm. Let's go All this right. way. Alright, combat shotgun's coming down. I still haven't done this. Damn it. You know what I should do after this mission is just go through all my mechs and do that. I should, but what's the chance of me doing it? Probably pretty damn low. Alright, get you up in here. And you guys are going to activate, so let's get you both moving in the same trajectory. Copy that, Commander. Alright, Vulture. Coordinates received. Okay, where's the right there? Vulture's there, so let's get you there. Roger. Keep moving you up. We don't. Oh, we do have the speed. Look at that. One. Roger. But you don't quite have the speed, though. You got it. All right. Well. Mm, Let's put ourselves in fire support positions. Uh, trebuchet, no, though. Get you down here, because you got to close. So they drop mechs. Your fire support. you got to get a little closer, too, so let's get you in there. Um, I can't reserve you. Shoot. Actually, you know what? Let's, re let's wait. What are your orders, Skipper? Then we'll figure out where we're going. Let's put you, like, right there. I'm there. Okay. They should drop. We move the Ifrit. Yep. There we go. They are dropping. Okay. Take you out first, will ya? Alright. Well, we'll see. Alright. So what do we got? I can't tell. Warhammer. Ooh, nice. Hatchetman? Really? Testudo siege tank. That doesn't sound like it's a very nice thing. Manticore. Well. Let's go here. Affirmative. I think I probably gotta save my bombs for the next next battle. We'll see here, I don't know. What do you got? Arrow 4. That's actually not a bad vehicle. Please shoot the turrets. Nope. He saw Rax and he's like, I gotta get that guy. I think he hit me with the arrow too. Yeah, Inferno. Hey. Hey. Warhammer's going on 11. What do we go on? 14, 12, 12. So we're ahead of him. So let's get over here. Should be able to whittle him down. I'm going to leave the rockets off. Alright, we got one shot on. Might have been a leg shot. I don't know. So 
So you're on 13. What are you on? 12. What are you doing? You shifty bastard. Oh, yeah, shoot this guy. Hopefully those were rockets. Hmm. Probably, maybe. I don't know. I guess we go against Hachismo here, but uh, this guy's got to go too. What are you looking at for armor? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Oof. I can't target that guy now anyway, so we're going to go to this guy. Not that we have a choice. Proved an incendiary, eh? Yeah, he's got an MRM-30. And a heavy rocket that's all he's got in there. Rocket launcher 15, eh? Okay. Yeah. Manicor, where are you going? He's decided he doesn't want a part of this battle, or what? Oh. Don't use your AMS for the turret. I'm here. Don't use your AMS for the turrets. Mm, I think if we're white right there, it's probably better. Oh yeah, 99 at this point. Let's get up to here. The uh, question is, do I want to drop a qu couple of quad missiles on this guy? We just want to like unleash with all the MRM goodness. I gotta worry about the jet boosters too. I gotta remember that. 22 times 4. Let's drop one. At, well, what are you at? Ooh, I don't think he's running an XL though. And these are. Do we have. We, got, we just have tandem, right? You know, let's hold on to the quads. Yeah, uh, we got him. Mech destroyed. Alright. Waiting for orders. So you were the shot at by the vehicular type. If we move, we're gonna be Toasty Flame Boy. Standing by. Let's move you first then. Get over here. See what we're doing. Good thing we got ahead of this guy though. Alright, firing. Confirm. Maybe not the right guy to go first, though. Ready for orders. But I need that guy out of the way. Yeah, it's bad. Let's go here. Moving to position. We gotta be back far, otherwise um, we're gonna be suffering even more problems to hit here. All right, firing. Locked on. You're on. Come on, land something, man. Really? Really? Standing by. I don't know. 32. No, I think we gotta get rid of the Warhammer. We're gonna be hot, so I'll have to, like, not wind up my, uh... Rotaries here. Actually, yeah, it's the heat that's killing us. So, I mean, I could go a little higher. Uh, let's go caseless first. It increases jam chance, but we're in a low stress situation at the moment, so... Uh, do I want to dump some rockets? I'm gonna, gonna put the rockets on too. We'll dump some rockets into them. Maybe we can get a kill here. Not quite enough. Guard a critical hit. Good damage though. 
Not as much as I would have liked. We stripped his back completely, pretty much, yeah. Alright. Well. Oh, nice shooting, man. Took a hard hit there. Nice shooting. Oof. Turret gets the kill. That's fine. We did all the work. Thanks for clearing the debris. Alright, not bad. A little bit of damage. Okay, we gotta get on that other guy. Receiving you. Let's just get straight in. We gotta close. Gotta get inside that arrow range, I think. Let's get on this guy. Ooh, nice hit. It's a good start. He's got a crap ton of armor. Yeah, we gotta keep on that side. Cool. Oop. Screwed the camera up again. Sorry about that. Where are you going? Alright, where am I here? There we go, back to normal. Uh, let's get my... Hmm. Commander? Hmm, can we get a side shot? We can. Let's get down in the trees again. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Hopefully we're far enough away from this guy. Um, I'm going to hold on to the rockets. Okay, not bad. Receiving you. Yeah, the racks aren't anywhere near as devastating as they used to be. I remember when we had that, that dual rack Orion set up, one on each arm. That thing was brutal when, they, when the racks were doing 45 damage per shot. Uh, this one I'm going to put the rocket 10 on, though. Taking the shot. I might be able to finish him off here. If we actually land anything. Anything, guys. Come on. I'm out of SRM. Yeah. I'm here. But now that they've reduced the damage, it's like... At 30. Like, even at 30, it's still pretty oh, good, but... As I can. Not anywhere near as devastating as it used to be. All right. Um, what are we, what are you out here? Let's go for the kill. I can't have this guy shooting the arrow again. Let's try for the kill. There we go. I had to make sure we had it. There's been too many times I'll, like the side's been like really low and we shoot from the side and we hit everywhere else. Yes, commander. All right, let's get this guy. We can get back strikes? We can. No, we can't. Well, it's not sprinting. That is. There we go. Moving at full throttle. Not that it matters. Shoot him from the back, hit him in the side. We know how that goes. How much armor do you have? 130? Let's try to end this quick. Go with a couple of these two. One of the tandems are down. Okay, good damage. A little bit internally. My SRMs are out. We hit the sides or where did we hit? Oh, yeah. Side and back. Uh, yep. Alright, buddy. Um... You cannot get a backstrike, and of course the damage is to the other side. Although, we can come back this way. Let's do that. Copy that, Commander. Let's do this and see if we can finish him off with the side or... Wow, yeah. Side or back hit. Not as good. I'm going to get ahead of this guy if we can. Hit him again next turn. 
No, I'm just with the AC. Well, at least they're hitting. God, anytime they gotta shoot by my guys, I'm like panicking here. Ready to rock. Yeah, of course. Our minimum distance just puts him out of range. Oh, nope, never mind. I'll take that back. That, Commander. Take that back. All right, see if we can get the kill here. Come on. Not quite enough. What? No. Well, speed sounds good. All right, turn all these off. Yeah, I'll leave that. I'll leave everything else on, and I am going to do this. Push him back. Take a shot for the back. We're not going to hit, but... Yeah. Die. Minus four to initiative, beautiful. Me. Figures. Ready for Don't order. say figures. God, this trebuchet and the speed is like just great. Alright, leave this off. No sense of wasting ammo on him. Attacking from position. We're here to strip all of your armor. Venom goes ahead of him too, so we're good. We're good. Uh, I can't get a direct shot. I can't from here though. We'll take the shot from there. You never know, right? Right? Firing on target. Oh, he landed. Landed too. I'm receiving you. Oh boy, if I sit still, it's going to be a bad time. Alright, go over here. At least get a little bit of evasion. She got a fair bit of evasion off that. Fire in tandems. Damn, man. Didn't get him. And he's going to drive himself into the middle of next week. Yep. Yes, Commander. Fail. Just Full move speed, up. No target. This thing's actually not bad for speed either. Good thing he's got enough morale to go before everybody. It's like I get one more shot at before I'm dead. Who's up? I'm here. Ah, uh, let's save the rotaries. Hey. Let's save the ammo. Moving to position. Don't mind firing the AC5 though, because we got like 20 rounds. Oof, garbage. All right. One on. All out of SRM. Did I forget to turn one of them Standing off? By. I think I did. Yep, save the rotaries. Save the rotaries. All right. Um. Ready for orders. Affirmative. This next battle, I'm going to be interested to see what they get out of this, or what they bring to the table. Oh, really, really. Standing by. All you could do is to do a detect target, huh? There we go. Stay out of the flames. Stay out of the flames. Let's get the kill, please. On it. Had to think about where he was going to shoot there for a second. Take that. Uh, here. No. Orders. Here. No. Here. There we go. 
MRMs, please. There we go. Target's down. All right, I'll see you when we get there. All right, we got our guys up there now, so let's just kind of position ourselves with you and you. Oh, you don't have enough speed. I thought you had enough speed to get in to activate. Oh, oh Commander, shit. Jet I'm booster. Hit. That's my fault. Sorry. Uh, do you have a jet booster? No, you don't. Damn it. I always forget that. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. Copy that, Commander. Okay, you need to get like there. Confirmed. You can go back here. Moving you can go nope. Trees, please. There. Advancing. Again. You can Jet Booster's gone now anyway. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter at this point. Alright, get you there. Roger. And you here. Affirmative, Commander. Are they glad to see us or not? Yeah, they are. Oh god, they dropped right behind the uh, base. Oh, that's it? Really? Really? Mech warriors. At three skulls, Marion's again? Really? Your guys are failing me here. I should have just taken the sea bills for this one. But there's always that chance, right? Well. They do a lot of damage, apparently. Getting banged up pretty good. They do a lot of damage. Quad missile pod, Thunderbolt 20. That's actually not bad. Ready for orders. I'm like thinking that's like better than the uh Oof. That's better than the plasma cannon version. What are you? Panzer Habitza. Alright, let's get into here. Roger. We gotta spread out. Oh, we have a better chance to hit this guy, so let's go after him. Alright, a little bit of damage. Might be able to follow it up. Well, he's gonna go before me. I was gonna say, might be able to follow it up with the rack, but let's see what he does. Turret, nice. Nice! I'm receiving you. Alright, you. Let's get into trees. Order acknowledged. I was gonna say get in the open air, but a little bit better chance to hit, but I think we're fine in the trees. Uh through armor critical chance. Let's go with uh, AP, because we got it. Rockets on. Wind the racks up. Marksman, SPG. That's a lot of armor. Let's take the shot, the side shot. Oh, wow, 21. Maybe not that one. Well, not that one. Uh, not that one. That one, I guess. Sure. So the AP ammo goes, does half the damage to internals. Or not half damage, but a fair bit of damage to internals, so it's kind of worth it. Right, we got a side shot in that guy, and he hasn't gone yet, so let's see if we can't not... Yeah, we did leave one of the rocket launchers on. See how much damage we can do. We might get lucky, maybe. Oh, that hit. That could do it. That could do it. Yep. Oh, we got lucky. Nicely done. Mech destroyed. All right, let's clean it up. Yes, Commander. Let's clean it up and go home, people. I copy. Yeah, I was really hoping for more after th out of a three skull, but can only do what it can do, right? Um, wait, where are you? Yeah, with this guy, I guess. Fire the thunderbolt because we can't. Right. Okay, bit of damage. Standing by. Let's 
Okay, we'll go right there. Uh, it's really sucky that the uh, most amount of damage that uh, I've done was to myself, or been done to me was by myself. I mean, it's kind of par for the course. Uh, let's go up to this guy. Um. Uh, yeah, we might get lucky. Taking the shot. Yeah, I've got him. Enemy eliminated. You are now a smudge. My SRMs are out. I got you. All right, we'll target this guy up. We do have incendiary as well, right? Yeah, worst chance to hit though. A little bit more damage. Ooh, anti-air arrow. Let's try that again. See if we can land that shot. That's a kill if we get it. Engage, yep, there we go. Nice. Got past the armor. And the pilot. And the armor on the other side. Ooh. See ya! There it is, folks. Successful. Alright, well, 500,000. It's not bad. We'll see how much we have to pay out in armor costs, though. We didn't take too much damage. That first hit wasn't so bad. The rest of it was pretty much... Yeah, I mean, we did okay. Could have been worse. Vehicles did a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of the killing. Alright, so there's a couple Manticore parts. Manticore. We don't have any... Uh, we do have marksmen though. This is a sniper and large. And are you the same? Hellstorm. Well, shit, yeah, let's grab one of those pieces. Oh, Testudo Siege. Look at the armor on this thing though, too, right? Arrow 4. I wish I knew how much ammo it had for that. And the Ultra 10. 3-5 movement. It's only one, only one Warhammer part. We don't have any. The Yellow Jacket's nice. Wait, do we have the Thunderbolt version of this already? We do. So we can already put it together. So I don't need that. Not a lot of armor though. I wish I knew how many rounds were in there. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's this. I think it's that. Go with the heavy vehicle. Arrow 4. Man, I remember back in the days getting those arrows were just great. Now it's like, eh, whatever. Heavy rocket launcher. There's so many more weapons. Oh, there's, an, there's the MRM-32. Ooh, I gotta think about that now. Ultra 10. Right. Modify scatter of missed indirect fire shots by minimum of 25%, maximum minus 50% distance. It's actually not bad if you want to hit, like, a specific target. Reactive plating. Sniper sensors. It's actually kind of nice. Arrow ammo. So there's no MRM ammo. I hope we get the AMS ammo because we're really low on that. We got like one ton of it. DNI cockpit. Yeah, because you all know I got tons of piles with DNI. So it's, you know, I'm less likely to use that, but I'll definitely get use out of this. So let's grab that. That could be a good replacement for the uh, Vindicator because we lost the uh, the 10 and the and the 20 off of that and having 130 would mean I'd be able to put a bunch of smaller weapons on yeah let's go that route Hatchetman we did get the marksman part I'll probably build it and sell it because I don't think we're going to use this well we might use the sniper I don't know we're going to get a helicopter part too AMS ammo the rocket launcher that can go light machine guns can go sniper artillery I don't see putting it on a mech. 
Now that we have vehicles with sniper, it's less important, you know, putting it on, on a mech. So let's just sell that. It's only 45,000 though. That can go. Pharaoh, we've got how many two? Let's hang on to it just in case. You can go, you can go. There's the AMS ammo. How many AMSs do I have? One. We'll hold on to that one then. Ultra 10 ammo I'll hang on to. Oh, I got six. Yeah, but it's so cheap. We'll hold on to it. All right. All right, 42,000. That's not bad. That helps out with the last mission being so bad. Yeah, we're back. We're, we can make our financial report now. That's pretty good. I think what I'm going to do, though, let's have a quick look. Um, the command center. Now, I did actually, uh, if we go to engineering real quick, I did actually finish up the last, this one here, of uh, storage space. I'm going for another one. It cost me like 179000 I think, to go after this one, but it's going to reduce the cost of storing everything by 5%, and it dropped like eighty grand off the cost when this one finished, so it'll be another eighty off of that. I think it's worth it. You know, it's going to pay for itself in a few months anyway, so um, that's fine. Let's take a look, quick look at the command center and see if there's any quick, small missions here. There's a one-and-a-half skull right, right here, battle. Um, hit pirates. Yeah, let's think, let's just go real quick. Um, 315? 210? Now we better go full salvage. Just in case there's some good stuff. It's pirates, you never know what they're going to have. And we're going to just put, what do we have that we can put into battle? A couple things. Not a lot. Uh, let's pull you out. Let's pull you out. Let's pull you out. Let's pull you out. And of course the pilots can come out. Got to knock this one off real quick. So let's bring the uh, vehicle pilots for Sea Lance. So let's bring um, Nasty and Prime Time down. Get you guys down here. Swap this out. We want to. We don't want to go in for too much overkill. Let's go for a good fight. Cloudbuster. Wait, what are you piloting? Pegasus. And were you in the Buster before? You have no Buster, really. Well, let's leave you in the Cloudbuster. Let's go with Plasma. In case there's something we really want. We don't use it all that often, so let's just go with that one. Bushwhacker can go up into the command position. Let's bring a Panther. Let's bring the Valkyrie. Um, when we go with another vehicle, maybe? ST? With the ATMs? We could go Ferret. Chaparral's what? Arrow 4. How often do we use the arrow, right? Right? Am I right? I'm right. You know I am. Uh, we got Whiplash. Um, sure. Let's get you some experience. <laughs> we don't have a lot of pilots that could go. We got. We have a good team up here, though. So the Bushwhacker is going to require... Let's bring Vengeance. Why not? And then let's bring the Panther. Um, Jenkins is back, so why not? Panther can... Because he hasn't piloted that in a while. Uh, Yanisari can stay on the Valkyrie, and I think we're good to go. Let's just get this done. Yeah, we know he's got a new space. Command interface initiated. All right, they're right in the in the open, apparently on the hill. Okay. Who knows what could sneak up behind us? So I guess they're going to have reinforcements. Because of course they will. All oh, right. Normally we start over here. Uh, I think they've got... Well, maybe they don't have reinforcements. Let's be a little different. Let's start back here. Because why not? So I was driving back from Toronto the other day and uh, had to go to the bathroom real, really badly, so I pulled off the highway and ducked into a McDonald's to go to the bathroom. And in the bathroom they were playing... Um, Christmas music already. It was a it was Jingle Bells, right? And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And then I'm like, it's like, please, like I don't know how many years people have been saying this now, but they're like, if you're gonna do Christmas, great. Like, because I'm not a Christmas fan. I'm not a Christmas music fan, of course. 
Looks like enemy reinforcement. But I'm like, I'm not one of those people that says don't play it, right? If you want to play it, go ahead. But the thing is, is like, wait until after Remembrance Day. Please, just wait till after Remembrance Day. Standing by. You know, it's like, I don't... Anyway. Not a lot of um, people do that. And I think it just, it's something that should be done, you know? Chiquita. Let's go get him. It's Jenkins with SRMs. 3.6. That good, huh? How much ammo do I have? I've got, like, what, five turns there. Oof, three turns and five turns. So, yeah, I mean, no, I'm not taking that shot. Not that, not at that percentage. Okay, Midge Scout, we got, what do we have here? A Vulcan, Locust, I saw the Crapple Master, Clint, Saladin, Ultra Auto Cannon. I don't know if that's a 20 or a 10. Waiting for orders. Whatever it is, it's gotta go. Um, let's get you over here too. Roger. I wanna get onto land on this side as fast as I can, I think. 17, 10, 15. Yeah, let's just start in this guy. Nothing. I probably could have used my, uh... I gotta keep remembering to do that. Who's getting the plasma, though? That's the question. Wait, what's this guy? Whitworth. I mean, we should be okay, regardless. Well, thanks for being here. Yes, Commander. All right, let's uh, give it to somebody. On. Wow. These guys are tougher than hit than the last group. Just go after this guy. Leave the rockets off for now. I don't think we need to overheat this guy. Confirm. I don't think the overheaters are going to do much to any of these guys anyway. They're, they don't seem to be that hot. Except for maybe the Vulcan. The Vulcan's probably the one that we're going to heat up the most. But we can get the we can get the uh, the black jacket on it though. Standing by. Get that black jacket on that guy over there. No shooting, just running. Got it. Oh no, you got shooting too, buddy. You got shooting too. Attacking from position. There you go. Confirmed. Let's get nasty on these son bitches. Oh, you got flak. That's right. Um, let's get up on here. Take some shots Double at that down. copter. Do your job. Do your job. Oh, one hit. Not bad. Twenty-one damage. I'll take it. That guy's gotta die. I hear ya. Well, you don't really need to move because you are an arrow. I think we should go after him. What do you got? Standard? Guided? Inferno. Let's go guided. Uh-huh. Nah, it's gonna be a miss. I ah, still did a little bit of damage to this guy though. You got a few more chances at it. You gotta land at least one before this battle's over. Oh yeah, you know the threat. You know the threat. Wish that was a quick sell, Clint, but whatever. I'd even take a quick sell cattle master for crying out loud. That would be hilarious. Cattle Master, Order. quick sell. What is it with you and your slow max? We'll take that shot. Acknowledged. See if we can burrow this guy. 
Uh, since we're probably not going to get much of a chance to use acid. Let's use it now. Okay, not bad. Ooh, head hit too. Lovely. How's that heat treating you? Oh, you're fine. Oh, you got the AC too. Okay. Thought he had a large laser. But it's the 2T, so I guess I should have realized that. Should have realized that. I wonder if we're in, uh... Moving out. Salad and rocket range yet. Oh, well, we are. Because why not? Here you go. Locking on target. Alright, soften him up. Let's not let that guy shoot. Let's lock this guy. I've got a sensor lock. And then let's sprint to here. And Let's see if we can that. kill this uh, cicada. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well, not bad. Target Forty-nine heat. Hey, yo. Okay. Move you to there. Copy that, Commander. Okay. A little bit of evasion, and we'll take a shot at that that uh, whirly bird again. Doing your job. Yes. I need a new target. Yeah, I think I'm liking this over the large laser version. With my media, like a lot of my guys have mediocre chances to hit at best. So having the volume of shots as opposed to the two singular large laser 40 pinpoints is, is helpful in a lot of battles. I think it's going to be particularly helpful chasing down like flyers and stuff that have a like an impossible chance for me to hit them, you know? Let's go here. I think we could probably do more against this guy than we can against the other guy. Or we could set the flames way back there too. That works. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, you think? I uh, misfired. Okay, he's got a 20. Which means he has to die next turn. <laughs> We're just outside his range, I think. Oof, good shoot, man. He should be pretty hot, though, by now. Alright, see if we can drop around on this guy. Yeah! Oh, it's gonna hit. There you go. Beautiful. Now you can go home. Gotcha! Hot damn. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. And why our initiative is so garbage, I don't know. Oof. Good hitting, man. Good hitting. Reporting. Heavy damage. Yeah, I can see that. They're loving the Panther. Loving that damn panther. Should be able to ch kill the cicada with the panther this turn. Unless he runs away. Oh. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I guess I'm not going after him then. He's too far away. 50. 43. Let's do this. Got it, Commander. I'm going to switch this up to uh, Artemis, though. Beautiful. Collected some heavy damage. Excellent. Uh, who's this? Oh, you. The Anissary. Let's get you on...
You know what? Let's vigilance. Because I don't feel comfortable about this move to here. Because the Whitworth has a good side shot. So hopefully we can get ahead of him next turn and then we can move out of there and I don't have to worry about it. Let's just hit this guy. That should do it. There we go. Hostile removed. Not really a threat, but by clearing my side, I can have more room to maneuver to, to expose my back and stuff, so... Right? Receiving you. That's the thought. Position confirmed. Heh. <laughs> Fuck him. Damn it, I missed the game with that. You're spreading those bomb mines out pretty good, eh? Oof, good targeting. But then of course I'm not moving, so. Standing by. Well. Copy that. He's warm. Let's make him real warm. Let's just go for the kill. Engaging with target. That's what a missile bolt looks like, buddy. I'm out of SRN. Ready to rock. That's okay, that guy's out of balls. Um, let's shoot. Hmm. Let's get around in front of this cicada. Oh, that's only. Oh, wait, wait it'll, it'll change once we get there. I was gonna say, let's get around in front of this cicada because we want to um, hit areas that we've already hit, and it's the best chance to do so. So, just go with standard ammo. We might get the leg. You never know. All right, couple hits. What can I do for you? You can let this guy know that even with the arrow unable to fire, you can still kill a mech. Or not. Yeah. Oh, there's the knockdown. That's essentially a kill, though. We'll finish him next turn. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yes, Hells to the yes. Oh yeah, the, uh, I forgot, we've got a, uh, locust over here. I don't know what we're gonna take for salvage. I honestly don't. God, what a... I think I hit something good. Guy's like, I'm being killed by flamers! Actually, that hunter, I'm not sure if that's the, uh... The stealth hunter. No, it's the... It's the 3R2, so I don't think it is. I'm receiving you. Um, I'm not going to steal that guy's kill. I mean, I probably should, but I'm not going to. Let's make sure our back's not to that Whitworth and say, in case he decides to come up over that hill. I don't think he can, but you never know, right? Target in for an officer. Enemy down. Orders. All right, let's wrap this up and go home. Let's barbecue this guy. On. Missile boat. Guess who's taking an arrow shot? Let me give you a hint. It's not the cattle master and it's not the Clint. I'll let you figure out who it's going to be. Oh man, it's only still, it's only like 66%. Kill shot. Here it comes. Yes. Bang, you're dead. <laughs> Ready for orders. That works so well with that battle. Or with that fight. Or the, uh, what happened. You know what I'm saying. Oh. Who's not dead from the main lance? 
Oh, this guy, right. Durr. Confirmed. Firing. Ah, I took a bit of damage. Ah, he's still faster than the, uh... <sighs> Cloudbuster. Where you think you're going? He's not looking so good. Oh, nice play. They seem to be inspired. Skipper. Inspired by the back strike. Yes, we should have thought of that there earlier. All right, want to play the back game? We can play the back game. I play it pretty well. See? Oh my God, he's still going. He's still going. Ooh, nice shot. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. So I guess he's got a rifle. Waiting for orders. Gonna move On away from way. that uh, guy because he gets to go again. We'll take this shot. It's a little better than the other one. Aye, aye. Well, at least the laser hit. This guy's pretty inspired. Walk the flank. I got him, don't worry. What's up, boss? Okay, let's sensor lock the Clint. Yeah, he's got a medium rifle. And we're gonna come down here as far as we can. And hopefully finish this guy up. Might as well kill the might as well take the rest of the armor off him. Before we destroy him. There we go. That's a kill. Yes, Commander. I don't know what you're gonna do. Minefield time, 63. Well that'll be pretty warm. Let's go this way. <laughs> Confirmed. Let's go this way instead. Alright, we'll find out what we got a better shot on here. 57. 57. Let's take this guy. Locking on pause. What are your orders, Skipper? Strangely enough, I think that Clint probably has less armor than the Cavalmaster. I think the armor's like 400 or something. Yeah, 496. That's probably about the same as the Cavalmaster. Now let's see how you handle it. Well, let's take order. you. 18. 25. Roger that. Firing on target. Not quite on target. I meant to check how much armor that guy had. Are you running, you're running down the hill. I don't blame you, but... Makes it harder for the panther to get to you. So you have 360, so there's a lot less armor. Yes, Commander. Let's close the gap a little bit here. Moving to position. I'm gonna stay on this guy. <laughs> Open him up. Waiting for orders. Now, can you get you can. Look at you. Look at you, Perfect. champion. I got what, a couple more turns of uh yeah, a couple more turns of this. Let's give it to him. Ooh, that's gonna be bad for him. Taser rifle destroyed. Scored a critical hit. He's got a Taser. I got a shotgun. Confirmed. Let's use it. Let's use the shotgun. Firing! Firing on target. Ooh! I thought he took that one right in the face. I don't know about you, but it sure as hell looked that way. Sure as hell looked that way. Alright, prime time. Aye aye. Let's keep uh, plasma cannoning this guy. Got it. Oof.
He's fleeing the interview. So I gotta come back this way. Because otherwise he's just gonna stay back there. I'm not gonna be able to shoot him. Well, the arrow can shoot him though. What can I do for you? Right? 11%, last one. Tell me what to shoot. Got a little bit of damage. We're stripping his armor pretty good though. Commander. Commander. I'm gonna reserve you. And I'm gonna reserve you. And I'm gonna reserve you. And I'm gonna reserve you. You guys. Uh, I will reserve you. Let's get you... Minimum distance. There we go. Confirmed. Let's just go there. See if he comes up back over the hill to fight. I should have given him my back, but... Chances are he would kind of go over that hill and kill me. Oh, for Christ's sake. When does that guy go? Come on, Pokey. Oh, for... Ready for orders. All in ass. Damn it. I hate it when they do that. Well, Jenkins is probably the only person that's in a position to get a, eventually get a shot after this guy, though. So let's go here. No shooting, just running. Orders. Aye aye. Uh, okay, we got, one, we got one more turn for our sensor lock to be back on, which we'll I hopefully remember to use. Go standard. We got lots. Nice. Skipper. I'd love it if we could kill that guy with just splash damage. Affirmative, Commander. Receiving you. Well, let's just keep moving. I don't think he's got enough juice to get back up over that hill to shoot you, so. Ready for orders. Alright, you, let's help out Jenkins a bit if you can. Got a shot in this guy. Heading out. Let's get a kill by splash. If we can. Aye, aye. Ready for orders. Excellent. That'll help the old jank out. Hey yo. I'm gonna go there. Roger, Skipper. I mean, we can't move very far, but. Ready for orders. Sure. Acknowledge. I got my vehicle still moving in the background. All right, uh, let's change to acid because it looks better. Critical hit. He's panicking. For As well you should be. Some more splash. Die. die with splash. Nope, not quite. Well, I like to say he's putting up a fight, but he's really not. Orders. Let's finish him. Death by Splash would have been nice, but let's finish it. Firing full salvo. Well, maybe not. Critical hit. Oh, there you go. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, it wasn't so bad, I guess. 310,000. Hopefully we can get some stuff we can sell out of here. We got two for the Panther, three for the Valkyrie. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so, Midge Scout, we don't really care about. Cattle Master parts, Clint parts. Yeah, I don't think I want any mech parts. Although this... Wait, it just said UA. Oh, up armor. Salad and up armor. That's what it is. So it is only an AC-20. UA is up armor, I believe. Yeah. It's not really worth it. 
And there's nothing really down here either. Breaching, I've got already. Which is, I mean, I guess it's okay if you've got a mech that's really got one big weapon and that's about it. Follow leader, so there's like nothing I want. I'm not using LRMs this time around, pretty much. So let's take this thing. Fuel cells worth how much? 550. 250. 350. It's really nothing. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could take the salad in and sell it. Oh, the midge. I can't remember if that. It's three SRM2s. Sometimes you can get like a vehicle and it's. It doesn't look like much, but then when you sell it, it's it sells for a ridiculous amount of like amount of money. I don't think this will be a lot though. I'd almost want to say this would probably be worth a bunch. I don't know. Because VTOLs are generally worth more. Generally. Eh, let's just... I'll do this and I'm just going to assemble it and sell it. Sure. So cicada, clint, locust part, salad in part. You can go, you can go. So, I mean, this is a Seabills run, so I guess it's a good thing we don't really want anything out of here. And the mech parts will sell. So, I mean, we made, we, we made it okay. We, we made about 300000 just off of this and what we, what we sold here. And then we'll get that, whatever it is, 300000 when we come back after repairs. $22,000. That's, that, that's acceptable. Not so bad. Okay, we're going to jump off this planet now. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. We're not... Well, we got seven days left. I'll see if I can assemble some mechs or something for seven days of fighting. Maybe we do another mismatch. Let me think about it. Oh, wait. We can get the, um, the Vulture. The Bushwhacker. Bring both those guys down. Stormcrow. Trebuchet. Actually, we can take that to the bottom, that to the bottom. Like that, I think. Yeah, because, I mean, we'll get these guys back. Our pilots will be back. So, we might be able to, uh, There's not much left here to do, though. I don't know. Let me think about it. I might jump. Well, there's a... Base defense. It's against the locals, though, so it may, not, it may not be that great. We're kind of at that weird skull raiding planet. I mean, it's a battle. Single heavy air asset, so that might be one we could take with a lighter unit. Yeah, we got. I mean, we got this one here too that we could take too, right? Local government. It's a target acquisition, but it's four skulls, so we could take the heavier mechs. Like, we can take the Black Knight. Well, Black Knight won't be back. We do have the Avatar, though. Yeah, let me think about it. There's a possibility we could do that. Actually, when is the Black Knight back? Wait, how many days do we have before the end of the month? Seven. We don't have enough to get the Black Knight back. It's a 10-day affair. So we'd be running with the Medium Lance for that one. Which actually might be pretty good. The Vulture, Stormcrow, the Bushwhacker, and running the Avatar. And then the two flyers. Or no. I think I would go with the, the two vehicles. The two hovers. The Ferret and the uh, Pegasus. Just because they're low to the ground, the uh, air vehicles will be up in the air. Easier to hit. Or easier to see to be hit. Whereas the other two can hide. Yeah, let me think about that. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And check out that Quicksell site. And until next time, we'll see you later.